Yo, what's up dudes? This is Switchblade. Today we're going to be checking out the new presentation, I guess, that Nintendo's going to be holding regarding The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, it's a game that a lot of people have been looking forward to, particularly me since I had so much fun with the original. What is this new The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Nice. Well, I would Thank hope so. It's just a couple waiting. months away. Oh, that Many song. Are looking forward to this game. Oh, that song is nice. Trailers, so Reminds me a lot of music from The Wind Waker. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. I think they really went all out with the music we in this are game. In the land of Hyrule. <laughs> Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, nice. there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's oh, what's changed that? in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Oh, I certainly will. Go, in this go to game, the smoke. The vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some oh, landmasses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. <laughs> You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? Jump. <laughs> seriously, seriously look, just jump. Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder if you could let it land on you. <laughs> Let's head over to it. Oh, man. That's going to be the first thing I test. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Here it is. Damn. Okay. Let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... I see it looks like a barbarian. Look, it started rising. Damn. This power is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're recall, huh? To the sky. So it's not really time travel. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. There are a few other sky islands floating here too. Jesus Christ. I made it. Oh, look at that there dragon. There are ways to reach the sky islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Wait, there's different ways? Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger sky island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Hmm. Let's walk around for a bit. You mean run. <laughs> There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, something's there. What the hell? This is a brand new enemy called a construct. A construct, we'll huh? using the branch we just picked up. <laughs> ah, the branch broke. Not good, not good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Huh. Soldier construct Moving horn, on. nice. Zonai charge. Explored more of this sky island. So the Zonai are gonna As play a much larger part. Just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this, look. What the? We can stick them together. Oh my god. We created a makeshift <laughs> hammer. Oh this man. This is called fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. Oh, we beat one. I would imagine a boulder should do a lot more damage than a freaking branch. And it took just about as many hits as the branch to kill it. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. Huh. If we take this long stick and... I wonder if you could fuse the Master Sword with anything. 
we can create a weapon with a <laughs> Damn, much longer attack range. That is actually kind of neat. <laughs> with this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. That's kind of cheap, though. You can also fuse arrows with materials. I wonder how long they stay together. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Huh? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... You can ice arrow? Far away oh enemies. my god. Very useful. In addition... Hmm, let's see. Ah, oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might We're gonna feel fuse the bird to the arrow. arrow is too difficult. <laughs> Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. <laughs> fuse it to an arrow. So and it's gonna track to the enemy. That is actually wow. <laughs> it homed in on the target. <laughs> Let's try this on another bird. I'll just fire in that general oh my God, direction. That bulging eyeball is actually kind of disgusting. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a what mushroom the? to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. Huh. I blocked with the shield. <laughs> okay, there's smoke now. The enemy's lost sight of uh, Link. So he's higher on shrooms now. Attack! Shit. Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but huh. swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Uh, what? Of course, there we is just make a boat? That resembles a boat around here. Uh, well, yeah. So, but a whole bunch of logs right there. <laughs> this log and attach it to a second log. Let's do one more. I wonder how many you could do. Here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Okay, so they're always detachable. Now, if we nice. put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. Buoyancy. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. <laughs> oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Oh, there you go. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? Ah, okay, so it recharges too. Nice. We'll attach another one. Oh wow! This should make the boat well Super balanced. fast. Oh yeah, and balance too. I almost forgot that. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. It it's certainly is. Fast with the wind from the fans. Jesus. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. Uh-oh, enemies. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, what? you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. <laughs> there are all sorts Damn. of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So try. I cannot wait to see what the community is gonna come up with. We're gonna see some stupid ass shit. <laughs> there are even more new abilities. 
Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is and you can do that ascent. at any point. If you're in a place Damn. with a ceiling, you can go through. Wow. To the floor above you. This game is revolutionary. Holy shit, there dude. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here. Come on, keep going. Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. Wow. But now you're in really cold. In this game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's now, what point in the game will you, you get this ability, do, right? though? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Some enemies Oh are shit, it's got sirens. Weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it oh. blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah! Oh my. I got pushed God. off. Oh well, let's just return to the surface. <laughs> You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. Jesus Christ. What the hell good. is that symbol down there, though? In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. Oh, my God. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. And we're back on the surface. How did he not die? There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Wait, he said that's it? You you mother... Some of Link's new abilities were updated. Man, this game, game needs to come out now. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, he, he literally said it's done, though. That means they could, could just upload that, it to the eShop today. Just, like, why not? <laughs> just do it. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay. God, this music and sounds so we good, show man. Today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Well, that was a pretty neat presentation. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this game. It looks like, at least on the exploration side of things, it's going to be probably it's going to exceed Breath of the Wild. It's probably going to exceed Breath of the Wild. Although they didn't show anything about Wait, what's this? Oh, the new OLED. So it was real, huh? Effect added? Oh, that's that's for the dock. Oh wait, there's more footage? That thing is glorious, dude. Man. Damn, I wish I could afford that. <laughs> 428, huh? Nice. That thing looks awesome, dude. But yeah, like I was saying, it's too bad they didn't show anything regarding dungeons and stuff like that, you know? They didn't show anything about dungeons. They didn't show too many new enemies, although I guess we saw some of them in the previous trailer. The, the new enemy that we saw here was pretty cool, actually, though. But I guess I uh, wish it had been more than just that, although we still have a few, a few months left, so who knows? They might hold another one of these. They might actually even hold a um, full Nintendo Direct presentation. Um, pertaining to you know more more details of the game i hope they do that i think it's actually kind of guaranteed that they will because legend of zelda is a huge huge monumental series for them and they even did things like that for freaking splatoon i think zelda is definitely bigger than splatoon 
we didn't get to see Zelda. Hmm. Didn't get to see Zelda. It'd be cool to, I guess, play as her. Maybe for a little bit, I guess. But then again, have you ever in a Zelda game been able to play as another character? Not that I remember. Maybe you have. No story details. Man, they, there's so much they didn't show. I mean, of course, I don't want them to show everything. I even feel like they probably showed a little bit too much in this one regarding what you can do as far as, you know, being creative with um, what you find it just laying around. It looks pretty cool, though. Then again, maybe they should have showed it because, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't even think to do some of those things. So maybe it's good that they showed it. In any case, the game's coming out May 12th, 2023. So we're very, very close to the release date. So close. Like I said, they should just release it today since since they, they said officially that it's completely done as far as development goes. Then again, I mean, obviously they're not going to. But uh, yeah, I'm Switch Played. I'll see you dudes on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like and sub. Moving on.